Hello there everyone and all and most welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about one of the building SAP 3000 software. So I will come here SAP 2000 and I will come here to the new model. Afterward I will select uh, initialize model and I will uh, select the default uh, units which is for force distance and uh, temperature and i will choose the standard like american or the united states standard if you want to choose indian european or other cities up to you then after that i will select 3d model frame i will select this one and for this 3d frame i will select the number of stories will be six and also it is three and about y axis it is seven and five and here is three and three for y then i will select this one and here i will define the section properties for beams in column then i will come here to this plus sign then i will define here the section property for beam then i will come here to the concrete rectangular i will write a name here as a beam it is point three by by 0.4 so i will select here 0.3 meter and also 0.4 meter so then i am coming here to choose the material as a 4000 psi which is for american standard if you want to choose for indian standard or others you can just press one plus sign and define that material then i am coming here to the concrete reinforcement i will choose here as a beam then i will press ok and press ok again then i have defined the section properties for beam then the same i will do for column i'm coming here to the columns section properties i will go here and add new property concrete and rectangular i will give a name here column it is 0.4 by 0.4 it is section dimension is 0.4 and also 0.4 meter then i will choose the material for thousand psi if you want to just define the different material we can just come here and define the new material then i am coming here to the section properties if you want to just change some uh, properties in for st stiffness you can just change here then after that i will coming here to the here the column it is for column then i will do not change i will just change like uh, for this directions i will choose it is as a four and three number of longitudinal bar size will be 20d and also the confinement bar size will be 12d then i will choose here the reinforcement to be checked then press ok and again ok so i have defined the section properties for beams in column then i will press ok i am coming here the beams is for beams for columns i will choose here for column the section properties then i will press here the constraints if you want to just do constraints as well you will just make it like tick mark then after press ok so we have created this model like the frame which is like a system of beams and columns now i am going to define the slab and will draw the slab as well i am coming here to define here the sectional properties area section and i am coming here to define here a shell then add new property so the section name is slab it is thickness is one to five mm then i will select here type as a member on and here the thickness is 0.125 and same here 0.25 and also i will choose different material so i will just press plus sign and i will define new material the standard and concrete here the material type and also here is like i will choose 3000 now i'll press ok and ok again so i will choose the material this for slab then i will just press ok then ok so i have defined the slab now i am coming here to the first story here then i will select a slab here as an area sections for quick draw area or you can just come here to draw here as well to choose from here then i will select this one and select 
the slab which I have defined before then I will just select and drag for whole this area I will release it if you want to see you can come here set display option then general like it is like fill object apply you can look here the slab has been applied and same as for here as well now i'm coming here to select the slabs and also like uh, replicate to other stories above i'm coming here to the selection and here select object type properties like or object here properties and I will come here to the frame section so now I'm coming here to the select here oh, I'm going to select this slab I'm coming here to the select then I will choose here the properties as an area section and select the slabs select okay then I am coming here to the view and I will just replicate or just press ctrl R so like I will press ctrl R I am going to replicate here one two three four five i will just select the height as a three meters and i will select five one two three four five like increment then i will press apply and okay so i will come here to this window and i will show you that i have created slabs for other stories as well now i'm coming here to define the load pattern here I will select live load and I will select type as a live and add then I will select here the floor load then I will press here as a roof live then I will press ok dead load live load and also the roof load then I will press ok again so after defining the load patterns i will just apply to the dead load for this whole structure i will select just control a and i will come here to the assign and here the joint load in forces so i will apply the joint forces here as a considering one one will be a self weight for whole structure then i will just apply and okay uh, apply the joint forces for x axis y axis and z axis for all the axes okay i am coming here to assign the dead load for beams in columns and slabs okay so now i am going to apply the dead load for beams columns and slab and i am coming here to select select here and properties the frame sections select beam select close i'm coming here to assign i will come to the frame load gravity here i will calculate here the dead load for beams so i'm coming here it is thickness is 0.3 multiply 0.4 and by unit feet like it is three so i will select here three then i will apply and okay now i am coming here to select the columns here properties frame sections select the columns select close so i will calculate uh, here the dead load for column as well i am coming here the same 0.4 by 0.4 as a dimension then multiply by 25 is equal to 4 so i will select here now i am coming here to select all the columns coming here select properties from sections here select the columns select then i will apply the dead load i am coming here to the frame load and distributed the dead load and four apply okay the dead load has been applied so now i am coming here to apply the dead load for slabs i will select here select and also properties here area properties select slab close after that assign here i am coming to the area load here area load and select and uniform shell here i will uh, calculate the dead load for slab i am coming here like it is 0.125 thickness multiplied by 25 is equal to 3.125 here add to the existing load apply okay so now i am going to apply the live load for the slabs i will just do selection previous selection then i am coming here to the assign here the area load the uniform shell 
then I will select here the live load and it is 3 and after that add to the existing load then apply okay look here I will select here and look I have applied the dead load and live load again I will select uh, the slab here for applying the floor load I will select uh, here the area section the slab close then I'm coming here to the assign area load uniform shell then I will select here the floor load like I will put here 1.2 to the existing load apply ok now look here I have applied the dead load load live load and uniform and the floor load after applying the loads i am just finally going to do it is supports so like i am coming here down all the supports and i am coming here to the assign joint and restraints then i will be press here the fixed apply okay so i have applied the fixed supports for this building i am going to just save the model and draw the run analysis to do the analysis afterward we will see some results of the structure so i am going to just save this model and i will save here like it is sub 2000 model I will just press the run analysis I will run analysis so the analysis is going to complete shortly after that you can just do the start animation or to the shear force and bending moment I am coming here with the frames cables tendons I will select here the case combo and shear force to to apply ok like it is the shear force for for this building I'm coming here again to show the values look here and look for the shear force values as well okay now I'm coming here again I am coming here to the shear force and I will do here this time for the moment you can just look for the moment as well look here it is the moment uh, for this building okay you can just look some values here as well moment i'm coming here to the display and after that show tables i am selecting here the load cases this time i will just select only dead load then i am coming here uh, to show the displacement here and then i am coming here to select the displacement as well as here I will select the element forces then I will press ok so these are the results it is the lateral force shear force in x directions shear force in y directions torsion moment in x directions moment in y directions and other information and you can just now select here for joint displacement these are the displacement for u1 u2 u3 and also reactions okay for dead load and you can just select the different case and again generate the table here for all the information will be given there or you can just download here as well this or extract and export this table for getting the very good information for all the cases i hope this lecture will help you for getting much more knowledge about the sap 2000 software for modeling and analysis case then do not forget to subscribe our channel then stay tuned for another upcoming tutorials then have a wonderful time